type and translate a segment at a later stage, you can leave it as it is and translate the next segments. Then, using the buttons Previous Incomplete Translation and Next Incomplete Translation, you can go directly to the segments that have been left untranslated. Segments, such as the third segment on this page, are non-translatable. If you click on the status of the segment, you can set it as translated, non-translatable. The fourth segment is a segment where adding a comment may be useful. First draft translation is a service name and should either be kept in English or kept inside brackets after the translation. The sixth segment contains some numbers inside brackets that are colored in green. These are tags that correspond to font formatting. They must be kept in the translated segment as well, in the same order as in the source. If one tag has been left out by mistake, the whole segment will be highlighted in red, and on the status bar at the bottom of the page, you will see which tags are missing. XTM has a built-in spell checker that will highlight in yellow all words that are not in the dictionary. It works as any other spell checker and offers alternatives to the misspelled word. Due to the fact that languages keep changing in time, there might be words that are not recognized by the spell checker. In this case, you can right click on the highlighted word and click Add to Dictionary. A segment similar to the 14th segment has already been translated. This is called a fuzzy repeat. On the left side, you can see the difference between the source of the two segments, highlighted in red. You have two options, right match with inlines and right match without inlines. The first option adds the text and the tags as well, while the second option adds the text without the formatting tags. You should choose the appropriate option depending on the tags in the current source segment. In this case, we need to write the match with inlines and change the part that is different. If the translation of the source segment has been found in the translation memory, it will automatically be inserted in the target segment. In this case, the match type is in context exact match. This means that the segment has been translated in the same context. However, the translation can be changed if needed. Segment number 16 contains the word transcreation. If the English word is used in the target language, then the segment must have a status translated non translatable. If the source and target segments contain the same text, the segment is automatically set as non equivalent and it will not be saved in the translation memory. On this next page, segment 22 has been translated before, and the translation was found in the translation memory. However, it has not been translated in the same context. This type of matching is called a leverage match. It is the equivalent of a 100% match. If you select a term from the source segment and right-click on the selection, you have the following options. Add term quick, add term full, Open terminology, search in Google, and find and replace. Add term quick allows to quickly add the term and its translation to the terminology database. Add term full offers a full add to the terminology database, including the domain or subject area. You can choose one from the list or add a new one. You can upload an image, write the definition of the term, include reference, write an abbreviation if applicable, and any other remarks. It will also include the context in which the term has been used. The terms in the terminology database are interchangeable. They can be found in both the source language and the target language. If you use quick add, the context will not be saved in a terminology database. If you are unsure about the translation of a term, you can select it from the source segment, right-click and choose concordance. You will see all instances of the term usage, the entire source segment and its translation. XTM offers the possibility for the text to be split and translated by multiple translators. 
This text has 168 segments, out of which the first half, 84 segments, have been allocated to one translator and the rest to a second translator. Even if the text is being translated by two different translators, each of them has the option to view the translation of the other in order to maintain consistency throughout the whole document. The segments that have been allocated to the second translator are not editable and highlighted in grey, but they are still visible together with their translation. During the proofreading correction stage, you can make changes to the translation. These changes will show up as comments. After you make the changes, or if you consider the segment doesn't need to be changed, you need to change the status of the segment to revised. After proofreading, the translator has the possibility to approve or reject the changes done by the proofreader or make other changes if needed. This task is named correct too. You can either use the options go to the next segment with a comment and go to the previous segment with a comment to navigate through the segments that have been changed during the proofreading stage or you can check them one by one. After you approve or reject a change, you need to set the status to revised.